Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. We are back at version and we are with 11.4.2. It's the new one currently right now. And um, yeah, we're gonna take it for our first impression. Drive and see how it does. Very nice, uh, nicely gets out of the parking space over there. Very good. Okay, so 11.4.2. Uh, I came from 11.3.6 if you have, a, they have been following me on Twitter I haven't really gotten 4.1 I know a lot of folks that did um, they didn't really like it 4.2 came out supposed to be fixing everything with 4.1 issues had and 3.6 to be honest because I feel like they're almost the same and uh, still no fix out there or there are some reported good behaviors and improvements around merging to the highway and stuff like that so um yeah we're not really testing highway today but uh i think uh after i go to a couple places i might uh, take a video of a merge and see how it does but for now let's do some of these street uh street maneuvers over here and see if there's anything different um i am going to stop at a stop sign at the, at some point uh that stop sign is going to be notorious for being very slow at uh, stopping at the stop sign and then taking on the um, and then like creeping forward and taking really forever and sometimes getting confused to be honest as well so right now for this stop sign not much difference to be honest it is gonna go ahead even though that car went ahead too but it's gonna step on the brake I, I kind of anticipated that so yeah, I'm gonna punch in the accelerator here and see how it does. And now that guy's tailgating me, so. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see how it does this left turn over here. Takes a signal, puts a signal on. It's a unprotected left, but uh, there's no really incoming car, so nice. There's no slowdowns at all. All right, so intersections, if you have been following me, intersections have been hit or miss a lot with me. Um, there has been a lot of regression at intersections. It used to be very smooth. I didn't get any hesitation. Now it's completely the opposite. I get a lot of hesitation and sometimes it plain does, just doesn't work. And sometimes it's very dangerous. I have to do safety critical disengagement. So yeah, so if you've been see, watching my last few few videos, I haven't been posting much because it, it's really, it's been really bothering me. It's not really doing good. So, and I don't want to really share a lot of negativity. I, I, I know I'm supposed to, but at some point, you know, resharing and, and the same mistakes over and over again, is really not going to do anything um, at that point. I still disengage and um, give the feedback to the team. So but off camera. Let's see how it does with this construction merge over here. I'm going to punch it just a bit. It's being very hesitant. Yeah, I'm, I've been pushing it all along. So terrible, terrible, terrible. Yeah, not that good. So now it's changing lanes to follow route. It should really change lanes again. Oh, actually we are going through McLeod, so Okay, I might change that actually. Let's make it a little bit more interesting here. And right away it reconfigures its uh, navigation and switches lanes to follow route. That's awesome. So now what we're doing is we're going off on this left turn over here. So this coming up left turn on this intersection, uh, just yesterday with 3.6 it missed this left turn. Okay, so it does it properly this time. It, I mean, I'm saying properly, but at least it's not missing the turn. Um, it shouldn't really signal while we're at the line coming into the, the left turning lane. We should really signal on earlier on and uh, break before that as well. So there you go. Okay, so we've got a right of uh, left turn over here. Flashing left green light. Comes a little bit to a slowdown. Yeah, and punches the brakes. This is where you get rear-ended. <laughs> and then carries on. So very, very similar behavior to 3.6. You know, I wonder when they say 4.2 was a major release, that's what they were saying, or 
what really makes it a major release? I really do not understand. A major release, I would think there's a, a graphical change on the UI, uh, added assets, for example, so you see more 3D objects. Uh, at least, like that should that should be a, a, a major release. But anyway, I'm just ranting. Um, okay, so switching lanes to follow route, very nice. I'd like it to do that early on at this stage over here, uh, depending on the nav on this route, when we are going through this route. So I'm happy it does that, okay? And it did it very well. So if you haven't done yet, please hit like and subscribe to my video. Uh, I'll really, really appreciate it. So very, very slow down for this yield over here. Yeah, and I haven't even seen that at 3.6, so maybe more regressions, and then a slowdown for this yield as well. This is normal, but then, okay, it spots a car. It should go over here. There's a car behind me, it's getting pissed off. It should merge over here. No merge activity. I'm gonna disengage. Unable to merge at yield. Cannot stop car at that stage. There we go. And now we're engaged back again. So yeah, that yield uh, situation hasn't changed much. Unfortunately, there's really not much to report here. Uh, at least, at least in, in you know my uh, usual drives here. This is where this is the route that I take to drop off the dogs in the morning. Okay, that was a good subtle slowdown for that car that's uh, cutting through the street, and then a nice reacceleration again into the. You know, a lot of the behavior of 3.6, I just feel like it's just getting itself ready. In the background, there has been changes to just, you know. When I get 4.2, I just feel like it's the same kind of drive uh, right now. I was thinking about this, but then when I went out and just started driving, and this is my first drive with 4.2, I was just like, wow, it just feels like the same thing, to be honest. And I haven't driven 4.2 before, so interesting. All right, smooth entry into the intersection and a nice left turn, no punch in the brakes like last time, so not getting rear-ended very good okay so as we are coming down the hill we have this exit over here that we're gonna take <clears throat> no signaling at all <laughs> once it starts entering it signals and then there's a yield are we gonna go are we gonna go we're not gonna go the car doesn't know it's gonna go probably gonna go it's creeping in forward it's it should really just commit to be honest and then a nice change of signal after that last car that should change again yeah without signal not good and we've got our unprotected green light but no traffic sorry about that folks it's a little bit too early I guess for Calgarians to be out driving Punching the brake a bit. Punching the brake again. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it detects the 30 kilometer playground zone. It doesn't. I'm gonna disengage. Did not detect 30 kilometer playground zone. I'm telling you, one day I'm gonna get a ticket because of FSD. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do over here, I'm gonna have to disengage and take a right, so I'm not gonna count that really, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, because the road is under construction, so, and I don't want, uh, and it's it's literally closed, so there's no way for FSD to find out unless we reach there. So I'm not gonna really uh, get it to go all the way there, and then we'll have to circle around. Oops, all right, FSD's engaged. So there are, there's a pedestrian on the road there, crossing with the, their dog. Let's see if the car slows down very nicely. There's a car coming out of that alley. All right, it's very good. It didn't really punch the brakes, so it was very smooth, slow transition. 
Here it punches the brakes just because of this blind spot over here. That's okay though. I mean, it's not really okay if there's a car behind you. At that moment there wasn't, so. Going up the hill over here. And then this yield line, yield sign, it's so notorious. It stops way back over here. And then it just checks for one second and then there just punches it. Well, it didn't really punch it this time, but in 3.6 it really punches it. So, and it, and if there's a car coming from in from this opposing traffic over here, then you're probably screwed. Like you're gonna, you're gonna get into um, an, an accident for sure. So yeah, it should really creep forward slowly for that intersection. I, w I would be okay with that. All right, so we are coming up to our first destination over here. Uh, I'm just gonna do a drop off and then I'll. Uh, I'll film that stop sign for you folks as well on the way out. A little bit of a slowdown there, not really sure. Might be a blind spot over there that I was just being cautious for. Let's see with opposing traffic over here. And uh, yeah, not, not a big problem. This is a little bit of a wide road, so I'm not too worried, to be honest. I know a lot of folks are reporting that uh, that you that the car slows down to a complete stop, uh, almost to a complete stop, I guess, when there's opposing traffic on unmarked lanes or marked roads. All right, so we're coming up to the stop sign. This is where there's a lot of difficulty with 3.6, so it stops way back over here. And then it's not creeping yet, it's just waiting. And then now it's saying creeping forward for visibility. And it punches it. Oh, okay, that's okay, actually. That's really good. I like the spacing on that. So there's a 30 kilometer playground zone that it doesn't really stop for. Not slowing down for a 30 kilometer school zone. All right. So yeah, it's uh, that's a little bit of an improvement from 3.6, to be honest. So uh, yeah, happy with that, to be honest. Um, I'll try and test it out more and more, and if you follow me on Twitter, I can report back on, on that stuff as well, if you're curious. Okay, end playground zone. So at this point, it should go back to speed, but it doesn't detect that sign as well. Another intervention. Should really um, um, position itself properly on the left-hand side of this road. It does that just quite till the end over here. I don't know if there's space really on my right-hand side for cars to to go through. I would like it if we're positioned a little bit more closer to the yellow line. Unmarked two-lane road to be honest this one over here so Yeah, folks if you like this video and um, you really like my my point of view of driving in Calgary, Alberta and Canada Please let me know uh, in the comments below if you have any other suggestions if you are in town and uh, Yeah, we'll see you in the next one. I'll just keep on driving over here and uh, Up to my destination. There's a few nice turns over here. Normally. There's no issues and it drives very well So I'll just let you guys watch that and enjoy it um, If anything comes up and uh, I'll have to disengage. I'll just uh, put in uh, my two cents over there So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one Okay, and this is our destination over here. I'm just gonna disengage because it doesn't really enter the parking lot. And 
thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.